Hey. So, hey, hi, uh, how's it going? What's up? So, uh, we're at our uh, Chris Brandt uh, commemoration event at uh, Nolo Motorsports Park it's Sunday, April 14th, and we're just gonna walk around the pits and kind of like talk to people and see how they're doing. So, come on, let's go. Jason Evers. Jason Evers. I think something happened to his car. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't think he's here, uh, but we don't need him. So I saw his Instagram post that he posted probably, I don't know, five minutes ago now. Insert here, and his motor is sort of taken apart. Um, he's got to take stuff off, and it looks like his plugs are out. Somebody's calling me. It's Kim Train. Um, something about a spark plug broke off. And uh, like a piston hit it or something like that. So let's try and go find Jason outside. Maybe he might be around. Uh, and let's go uh, try to speak with him about it. All right, so we're in the pits and uh, we went to go try and find Evers, but he's not around. But we, we're with Command and Control Connor Landry in the, the, the TL350Z that you might have saw in, um, I don't know, like a couple of videos that are kind of like circulating in the around the drifting neighborhood video shit or whatever. Uh, but Connor paints cars, he paints valve covers, valve cover, um, makes stickers and stuff. Um, he paints helmets as well. Pretty, you know, in drifting, actually, uh, like a painted helmet isn't exactly, you know, a thing that people do. Like in, in yeah. Party, you know? yeah. So I, if 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 Connor can start painting helmets, like the style points that that drivers would get, you know, I mean, it's a what do you thing. agree? Yeah, I, it's a little things like yeah. um, I did uh, tail lights on this car. What's it? These are these are a stock style tail light you get off of eBay. And I personally don't like the way they look normally, so all I did was I basically did a candy red over the clear. And now they're all red. That's so good. I like that a lot. Um, I actually did it on a, another car down there. Yep. yep. Uh, on an S13 and it's crazy how it makes it fun. It's totally yeah. I love it. Whose car is it? Uh, Brian. Brian's wise? Alright. Well, we'll head down there in a minute. Scope those out. Yep. But look at his paint. Jeep. Look at his paint. Jeep boy. It's like it, it's it's it, it's not like a metallic or anything. It's metallic. It's it? just cheap. It's just like I I basically try to get the cheapest amount of base coat, the cheapest amount of clear coat. Yep. To, the so, just so if I knew if I could good, offer man. something, it's it's right. cheap. You oh, know, yeah. I messed up my bumper. I'm about to fix it, and I don't have to spend two hundred dollars on clear coat. It's like. You know, it's, it's all things that cost are... Cost effective. Yeah, very cost effective. effective. It helps drifters That's, look better. Exactly. Yeah. And drifters need cost effectiveness, good looking cheap wheels, good grippy cheap tires, and if, if drifters can get a hold of good painters with cheap uh, paint, that a good painter can make look good, That's like this. This is, what, this is what drifting needs right now. A good style, cheap, I guess, car. your vehicle and people know me because of my vehicles like I've painted cars and people literally know me because of oh you had this S14 that was purple yeah yeah yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. that one yeah. or like the purple S13 at the Lambo door they don't care about you know they don't care if the <laughs> I car think, I think Lambo out. doors in a zoo would be yeah, sick it's dude. possible there's a Style chance points. there's a chance Street it's gonna happen days, man. there's a chance it's gonna happen you know <laughs> cool man <laughs> awesome thanks dude all right let's go talk to somebody around the pits. I gotta swap me, me tires. <laughs> Let's go. All right guys, we're going this way, but we're gonna stop at the Clutch Kickers tent real quick. And uh, Clutch, kick, clutch, clutch Kickers, uh, they have like a whole team. They have what? An S13, uh, what a hash, and I don't know, it's got a V8 in it. And it got a RX-7 FD with what is it? LS1 and we got S14. We got we just got yep. an S SR20 yep. for it. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Zach's got a C6 Corvette that he needs yep. to drift. That one too. Yep. It's got like 700 horsepower or something. 666. Yeah. Six six. Wait. 
and I don't have a car. Yeah. <laughs> the demon, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but uh, Clutch Cooker sells like all kinds of merchandise. They have shirts, hats, uh, school bags, or like camel bags, laptop bags, whatever. Uh, lanyards, bat, uh, key chains, patches, and um, that thing, right? Yep. Right here. It's an unreleased one-off windbreaker. Ooh, exclusive. Contrasted little stringy stringies. Yep. Turn around for us, Matt. Let's see what it is. Turn around, turn around. Show us the back. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Well, look. Come here. This car is like a pro am car, right? Right? Yeah. What is that thing? Electric power steering. How is that? It's great. It's I'm never going great. back to power steering. It is the cheapest never? electronic power steering. It was the cheapest power steering I've ever put in a car. That, that, Man, that's us, totally us, worth it. Cost us, less than most kids. Us people with SRs are having issues with finding our pumps, right? That is cheaper and than any pump you'll ever find. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The cheapest. It's a Volvo pump. You can get a that? From a junkyard, from a junkyard, twenty-one dollars. Drew, come here. Let me see. 20, 21 bucks, and can you buy this on eBay or something like uh, that? MB Fab sells the whole kit, lines and everything is three hundred shipped. And how does it connect to the motor? It doesn't. It touches. Well, the well, or so or I, you, I guess I guess how does it work? If you order the kit from MB Fab, the lines, the pump, the bracket, and he'll send you the fittings for your rack to adapt it over. Yeah. If you order their kit, three hundred bucks. Absolutely, is probably. The best position. Oh yeah. Drifting so far. It is so right. consistent. Stuff like this. It yeah. has it has no effect on like outside temperature. Like it's yeah. not affected yeah. by anything. It's consistent yeah. no matter what. So. Well, not only that, but it's cool because it's got so far to travel. Yeah, we don't you know? we don't run a cooler on this car anymore either. It's just electronic power steering. There's no Dude, power steering cooler in this car. I'm doing that. Yeah. Seriously, if so any, the whole any year is how much? If you ordered it from Michael Randall's who owns MB Fab, it was 300 shit. Dude, that's perfect. But that's and cheaper everything than most. You need? That, that's, that's their kit right there. Yeah. Their lines, I didn't even cut them. Dude, I ran it all the way up, connected it directly to the rack. That's yeah. their fusible link and everything. That's how the kit comes. Yeah. The only thing I did was like yeah. test the tape. Yeah. Clutch Kicker's got the best ideas, man. Look at that. That's crazy. That's so good. I was tired of the motor dying every time I was like yeah, driving it to the saw pits when the yeah. cam hit. Yeah. It would, it would, it would draw so much power out of the motor as soon as it really? would lope, or, like, lope around. We had a turn all pump that was like specced out to run from the LS3 to the S chassis to that. Yeah. It was like a $500 pump. But when the cam would hit it, it would so hard that it kept starting. Hey Nick, what's up dude? How's it going? Up top. So, uh, Nick Castleberry. Yeah, Nick Castleberry. Clutch Kickers S13. Uh, Badass car. Yeah, we're out of Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Yep. This is our probably the closest best track that we have. So we always try to come out here and hit these events. Uh-huh. Awesome. Uh, there's the five flags, but the track itself is not really suited for a car like this. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is much faster. Yeah. You get more technical Way more tracks speed. and all that. Yeah. 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 Five flags just goes through tires like it's nothing. Yeah, well the pave you know, this pavement is, is amazing. Oh yeah, it's so smooth. Though. Um but but you're right? Yeah. Stock yeah, LS. Brian Tooley, yeah, it's got Brian Tooley about and uh, just a uh, nice period cam. Yep. It's, yep. it's a pretty aggressive cam for what it is. We, did, we were planning on boosting it, but not yet. Not yet. Yeah. So stock LS is all, or stock ish LS yeah, is basically. always known to be reliable. You know, it's not going to break. You just change the oil a bunch, yep. make sure it stays cool, you know? Yep. We got TO6060 yep. transmission, zero issues out of that. Zero yep. issues out of that. None. First one of this That's kind, awesome, as far as we know, like yeah. in an S chassis, we had to beat the hell out of the trans tunnel, but it's, it fits. Hey, dude. Not yeah. having to cut or anything, so. <laughs> not meant to fit. In the stock like hole, too. In the stock, yeah. the stock hole. So. Nice. Yeah, that's that's essential. Yeah. It's essential. Yeah. If it's you gotta move, like, move like, the hole, like, oh, like, yeah. like move the shifter hole, it always becomes a little more oh, awkward, yeah. you know? So. Uh, what, you got an angle kit on this thing, or what? Yeah, it was, it was originally a villain, so we got villains, lower control arms, just Cut and extended villains yeah. knuckles. Yeah. Uh, and then we got custom made bump stops, uh, maximum tie rods. Look at that sway bar. Yeah. That thing is massive. Look, Drew. Sinky sway bar for the swap. Kit. I think. Oh yeah. That thing is huge. So is it a whole sinky kit? Uh yeah. It was, it was originally a sinky swap kit. So we got sinky motor mounts. Yeah. Um, sway bar. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's about it as far as like the swap kit goes. Um, 
And it's wanna... pretty simple. You got you got DC coil overs. Yeah, DC coil overs. Yep. And uh, suspension wise, it's a pretty simple setup. All ISR arms in the rear. Yeah. Um, and guess what? It's not low. It's yeah, not, well, it's not low. It's, 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 that's what I want. I want to drop knuckles for the rear. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Well, it, well you right now. Hot boys, what do you yeah. Say? <laughs> I want the full squat. It, I want, it's, it's not very hot. Oh, boys. you're gonna do a reverse squat. <laughs> yeah, I want the I want the full squat and the power. <laughs> so like, for the car this height, is that gonna break axles or no, I, anything? I haven't like broke that. one axle. Stock oh, 240 dude. div, stock 240 axles. Uh, I, holding up to 500 horsepower. Man, I man said you. stock. Uh, yeah, holding stock. Dude, I envy you. I've broken five. Passenger side axles and two driver side axles. Yeah, they're, they're set up dead so, straight. Yeah. Right up. That's what that was the goal behind it. Because we're buddies with Scardino. He makes way less power yeah. than we do, but he's breaking axles all the time just because of how the, like, those rear axles are set up. 350C axles, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the future. I think we're gonna try to do a 350Z dip, 350Z yeah, axles. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's what you think. Yeah. That way I can not give a hell, like just just drop the clutch no matter what to start. Alright. So cool man. Let's uh, let's check back with you once you're on track again. Yeah, All right, dude. Sure. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. So came across Nick. He's got an S14 Koki with wood in it. One you see from a '92 LS400. Dude, I love those cars. Anyway, uh, you bought this car from where? I actually bought it from Zach. The clutch is right over there. Oh, okay. You bought it from those guys. <laughs> yeah. When was it though? Like uh, two years ago. About a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. Um, I'm way off. <laughs> well, look, come see it. Come see it. It's got D Max. Oh, dude, look at this paint. That's nice. It's actually, yeah, that's, like that's that a lot. Ford color. From, what? Oh, uh, from an F 150. That's right. Yep, yep. That's, oh, dude, that thing, that thing blames in the sun, dude. That's sick. BN replicas. BN reps. BN fenders. Yep. D-Max Arrow. Charge speed over fenders. Charge speed over fenders. SSR SP3s. 17 by 9.5 and in the front. 18 by 11 in the rear. And that's pretty much all there is to the outside of the car. Out. His brakes are so American. Check that out. <laughs> Stockest of stocks. Nice. Toyota reliability. <laughs> it's all aftermarket. I mean, it's all it's all OEM besides with this little tube guy. <laughs> it's a stock LS400 to the stock KA transmission. It's got just a little tube for the intake. Yep. Uh, but extremely reliable. I change the oil once every couple and of minutes. It doesn't break at it all. It doesn't break. Have you done the? Uh, does this have a chain? Uh, or no, I don't think so. Or a belt. Uh, uh, the 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 uh, t t t t timing. No, it's a timing belt. Timing belt. Have you changed that at all? <laughs> Hope the previous owner <laughs> did I, that. I think he did actually. <laughs> okay, all right. If you did, then it's all reliable. If you didn't, good luck. May or may not last. But uh, but looks like you got ISC coilovers, is that right? ISC coilovers, I uh, got GK Tech, uh, lower control arms in the front and rear, yep. and then everything else is ISR performance. Man, <laughs> he's got it hooked up. And uh, how, what stern angle is in there? Uh, that knuckle? is the uh, villain's, villain's, villain's knuckle. Kit. Villain's knuckle, nice. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, it's not allowed. Nick, Nick, uh, actually, just let him explain it because I can't even explain it. I was the guy that made the uh, car track for Assetto Corso. Yeah. So uh, if you enjoy playing that, you're welcome. So if you drive the car track with Apex Simulations at, you know, a drift event or whatever, uh, this guy made that. So thanks, Nick. Thanks, actually, that, because you made it. Uh, going into EYB last year, more more drivers were excited to drive it because it, you know, they drove it online. It was, you know, it was cool. it, it was a good 
job. Good job. It was awesome. And he's got the Ganon doors, looks like. GK Tech. GK Tech. Cool. Oh, yeah. Check this out. He's got a no drip banner. Between a missile and a uh, train car. Yep. <laughs> Looks like it had some quarter damage at one time. Right here? It's, uh, it's had a bit of quarter damage. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. Oh, and these lights are also. Those are, uh, I think they're. I think they are. They're from eBay. Something like that. Alright, dude. Thanks, man. Let's go find Evers. I think he's at a shop. Sleeping because your motor? Here, I'll come over and wait for some sleeping too. You're on TV, dude. Hey, buddy. <laughs> so we just wanted to like uh, kind of see what was up with your motor and stuff. I know this seems really awkward. It's it's really, really, kind of really off the cuff. Off the cuff. Yeah. It's so candid. Yeah. I heard you broke the spark plug. Is that right? Or I'll piss and get something out of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, everything was all good until, um... It's all good until I decided to pull this spark plug. Number six piston hit number six spark plug. And, uh... So, I can't fix that inside the truck. How's that happen? Is it extended? Something extended? My rods? Yeah. yeah. A stretch rod, maybe? It was always doing a run. First run. Yeah. Alright, let's check this track out. And it was like down on power immediately. That's really weird. Because I saw you run once, so that's it. Once, that's it. And uh, we got a big fluff of smoke at the end of that run. Insert explosion here. Actually, I don't have the explosion. Just, just put one. Oh, okay. Here. We'll just insert clips of him driving from round yeah, the first of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. I just want to see what was up. Hey. Hi high five your media people as you walk by them. It makes everybody feel good. There's three things about life that you need to know. No oil, no rust, no problems. That's, that's life, baby. What's up, man? We're walking around the pits, talking to people and stuff. Okay, cool.